So the first step is to tone the hair. This is what the hair originally looks like. Um, you can see it's kind of like on the yellow side and sort of brassy. So I'm taking my L'Oreal Ever Pure Purple Shampoo and I'm going to use this to tone it down. I'm using the water color method. Um, all you have to do is use some warm water, put the shampoo, mix it in there. And when you're mixing it, just make sure that you're mixing it well enough that there's no um, clumps because you don't want to risk any parts of the hair turning purple. So just be aware of that and just mix it real good. And once it's all mixed up, you can then take your wig and dump it in there. Really make sure you saturate the wig in this mixture so that you don't come out with like one side still brassy and the other side like toned down like really work that in there um, this took me about I want to say five to ten minutes to do fully so that when um, I finished it came out looking the way I wanted it to So once we're finished toning the hair, you guys can see that it doesn't have any more of those yellow brassy tones and look how even the color is. Make sure you guys take your time when doing this. This is the foundation before dyeing your hair. To achieve this color, I went ahead and bought four boxes of the Revlon Color Silk. Go ahead, pause and screenshot so you guys can see the colors that I used. Um, I do want to say I bought four boxes, but I ended up only using three, which is one of each color. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by wetting my hair. I feel like when you wet your hair um, before you dye it, it's just an easier process. Um, I also feel like you can use less products um, when you start off using um, wet hair so that's just my little tip for you guys When you open the box they do come with the directions and they provided these gloves so I'm just putting that on and what comes inside is a conditioner the color and the cream developer this bottle is the cream developer and what you're going to do is open this and the color which is in the darker bottle and pour that liquid inside of the cream developer pour it all inside of there once you're done pouring, all you got to do is close it up and shake it up and you're going to repeat this for all of the boxes that you're going to be using for this process. Pretty simple, pretty easy. So you can watch me do that. <laughs> Now I'm going to cut off the tip of each bottle so that the color can actually come out and once I'm done with that we can finally get into actually dyeing the hair. Adam. 
So in no particular order, I'm just taking one of the hair dyes and I'm going to start squeezing the color onto the hair. Now I really was going for a cohesive color, but at the same time I wanted my hair to be dimensional. So I kind of just did one bottle at a time and I'm just pouring that um, from the top to the bottom, making sure that it's saturated and going ahead and working that color into the hair. You really want to make sure you're just working everything into the hair um, with the help of your hands and also brushing it through making sure you're not missing a spot so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue doing that Once you're done getting all that color in you guys see how saturated it is like don't be scared to use all of the color I'm gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes to an hour and it's gonna start turning into this like brownish color if you see this happening do not be scared don't worry this is the process then I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out that color I am using cold water and you're gonna have to rinse it out until the water is clear it did take me a minute to rinse out but um, just make sure that you get all that product out of the hair So the final step is taking my silicone mix and putting this in the hair. This stuff is so good when it comes to like the dyeing process. You know, it makes the hair softer, it kind of revives it and it's just amazing. If you've never used this, I highly, highly recommend you get some and try it on your wigs. They make them last longer as well. So I'm just putting this on to the hair and then i'm going to put this in a plastic bag to sit and i believe i let it sit for about an hour or so i went ahead and air dried the hair and as the hair is drying you can see that the true blonde color is coming up this took about a day to air dry but once it was all dry this is the final color and it is absolutely gorgeous i think this is the perfect blonde for dark skinned girls i love the dimension to it and it's just the perfect shade in my opinion let me know if you guys like the color and also let me know if you guys would ever consider going blonde i think it's super fun yes dark skinned girls can go blonde too okay